Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be rating every player's performance from Tottenham Hotspur's 3-1 win over West Ham United in the Premier League. Before we begin, please, please, please make sure to help us out by clicking that subscribe button below and joining the Tottenham America family. We are just 26 subscribers away from the big 500 number, so please, please, please help us hit that um, in the next month is our biggest aim. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to start off with goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris. I'm going to rate him a 7. I'm giving him a 7 as well. Uh, could he have done much better for the goal? No, I wouldn't say not at all. I don't think he could have done much better. Nothing to do except he that and so many gatherings from crosses and just the, when the ball comes into the box and it's just hanging there, he did so well to just get there and grab it. Uh, there there and was a point in Also, the his distribution was amazing yeah. today for the third goal from Lloris straight to Kane to Son. Goal. Yeah, perfect header by Kane, but the... The targeting from the distribution by Lloris was absolutely picture perfect, right to Kane's head. And Lloris, I mean, he couldn't have done anything else for the goal. I mean, Ben Rama lashed it as his near post. Yeah. Realistically, there should probably be someone between Ben Rama and Lloris, like a, a defender, but Son was Son there, lagged back but, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, and then there was a moment, I think it was in the second half, where. There were like three different crosses coming in on each side, and it was late in the second half. And Lloris came out with this incredible jump to punch to grab and, it. Yeah, and hold it. Punch and it then, and then grab it. And then grabbed it on the second, like a cat. Like he sprawled out like a yeah. cat. And it was just so, so cool to see. And it was a really, really good performance from Hugo Lloris. Let's move into the defense now, starting with Guti Romero. I read him an 8. 8 for me as well. Unbelievable <laughs> Absolutely perfect brilliant player. performance today. So, so good. Um, he was just all over Antonio. The, the rarity when he lost the ball, you could see he he when it, whenever he loses the ball, he just charges at the person yeah. who, who had won the ball back, and, the problem, and he really tries to win it back. And probably the most important thing was that he didn't get another yellow. Yeah. Because if he gets one more yellow, he's out for the next two games. Two games. Two games. Because he's already he's already gone past the he's got like thirteen yellow cards in the front. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a, one of the highest in the league. It's so funny. But he did absolutely excellently today. Kept his aggression under control, but still was an incredible defender. He loves to drive forward. Yep. I love seeing that from him. He just kind of runs like and runs cat. and runs. Yeah. And um, multiple times I saw him in, like, striker position, which is it's just funny to see just a center back up there, number four, just <laughs> next to Harry Kane. <laughs> just standing there. It's just so, so funny to see. Um, oh, sorry, the, for the yellow cards for Romero, 13 in all competitions, 8 in the Premier League. So I think one more is 9. I, th I, I don't know how the thing works. We'll, we'll look at that another time. But he's close. Let's just say Romero's close to that next level of um, punishment. Yeah, suspension. We're going to move to the next center back now, starting with Eric Dyer. I'm going to rate him a 7.25. I'm going to give him a 7.5. Another really top performance from him. Um, I mean, he's such a different player from last season. Yep. Headed away lots of threats today. Obviously with the passes. I love him with a, a bandana on. <laughs> like the headband. He just looks so funny. Bandana? You mean headband? He, he looks like a caveman. <laughs> he looks like he's just ready to fight. Um, didn't do anything. Didn't put a foot wrong today. Um, um, he could have done better in, I feel like in the air, he wasn't the best today. Wasn't the best, but in all honesty, he was great. West Ham are very good in the air. Yeah. So it's hard to, it's hard to compete when you got Suchek, Dawson, Zuma, all of those guys. We're very lucky we didn't concede a goal to Zuma on the corner. Yeah. That was very, very important because we know he can head those in like easy. Him and Rudiger. Yeah. Zuma and Rudiger. When they were at Chelsea, they could just yeah. bang those headers into the goal. Yeah. It was so easy for them. Uh, all right, we're going to move on to Ben Davies. I'm going to rate Ben Davies a 7. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Overall, he was pretty solid today, but he did give away the ball a couple, yeah. the ball a couple times. So probably the least Times. solid of our defenders. But, but again, that, he was not too bad. That means nothing bad. Not um, really much bad. Yeah. So, unbelievable performance uh, worst out of defense. A, worst out of a great bunch for him. Yeah. 
Um, but they're very good performance from pretty much the whole defense. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're gonna move into midfield now with starting with right wing back Matt Doherty. I'm gonna rate him a seven as well. I'm gonna give him a seven. Started the first half very, very strongly, especially very for well. that first goal. Yep. Excellent, excellent start. And then he did quiet down a little bit in the second half. He did have some missed passes. He Sometimes he just couldn't get at the ball out of his feet at some points on that right-hand side. Yeah, there were points. And he couldn't find a pass, and he just lost the ball. But for the mo- for the majority of the match, he was r- pretty good like, today. Again, like Davies, he was the worst out of a great bunch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, moving on to center midfield, starting with Rodrigo Bentancur. I'm going to 8.5. 8.5 for me, too. Unbelievable performance. He's my him. second contender for man of the match. Second he's, ice, yeah. He's been, ever since he's arrived at Tottenham, he's been just so that med- midfield general, kind of like Pierre, but except he's just always there, and he's always confident. Like, as soon as he came into the team, his confidence was, like, straight up already. And he already... It seemed like he was already playing at Tottenham for at least yeah. a, like a season already. Yeah, it's so cool to yeah. see. Um, he settled into the team very well. Yeah. And today was a great performance. It looked like he fit in so well right away. You can just see he just like slowly, like it's a Lego piece. Like every match just tra- starts to lower and lower and lower. And s- now it's clicked in. And he's like fully a part of the team. And him and Hoybier is an unstoppable force at yeah. times. When they're um, when they're on their game, they're an unstoppable force. But a very good, very good performance from Rodrigo Bantanker. We're gonna move on to Hoybier now. I'm gonna rate him an eight. I'm going to give him an eight as well. Hoybier was great today. Not winning on the level of Bantanker. Not on the level of Bantanker, but he was winning back possession, good passes, very solid in defense. He was just great today. Chased the ball a lot. Um, just exactly what you'd expect from Mister. Pierre Milhoibier, very very solid in the midfield, um, and a perfect partner to Ben Tenker. Definitely perfect, perfect partner. Last up in the midfield area was left wing back Sergio Ragallon. I'm gonna rate him a seven point five. I'm gonna give him a seven point two five. He got up the field really brilliantly, and a lot of times he did pretty well. I don't know what was wrong with Anthony Taylor, but some of those should have been fouls. Yeah. Some of he was just getting battered left and right. Yeah, especially in the penalty box. Yeah. I feel like two of them should have been penalties, at least one of them. But, I mean, he was Other pretty good that, today. Other than that, he was great defensively. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty solid defensively. Not the best in attack, but he was great defensively. better, yeah. Yeah. But, on all honesty, he probably should have gotten a couple penalties or fouls at least at yeah. times. Because he was just shoved left and right at times. Um, and I always saw him just writhing around like in anger and frustration when he didn't get the penalty call. Because some of them were unbelievable. Yeah. It was, like, completely the wrong call. Moving into attack, starting with the ginger from Sweden, Dejan Kulusevski. I'm going to rate him an 8. I'm going to give him a 7.75. Kulusevski. Oh, my goodness. He was great today. That one flick that he had that I think gave the ball to Sonner Kane, I forget. But it was a brilliant pass. Uh, it was play. Um, to Reggion. To Reggion, yeah. And then Reggion found Kane, and Kane hit it, it into real, like. It was a really good flick from Kulusevski. And again, he used his physicality so well today, like he always yeah. does. And today he was just great dribbling, great physicality, great balance, great everything from him today. Really, really good performance from Kulusevski. And at first he, again. he was a little hesitant and shy when we he first came. We kept saying that. And now, look at him. He's like celebrating with the team. You could tell that. Like, Man City, when he played, he wasn't really celebrating to the team. Now, yeah. he is. Yeah. Now he's like really in there. And he's and just... And you can see his reactions, like a foul or something like that. And just and to watch, see, the, yeah. watch the watch the, the games, every commentator is just shouting their praise for him. He's like, oh, this boy's special. He's fitting into Tottenham perfectly. And yeah. he's a bargain. His buy clause is like 25 mil. Yeah. For a guy who's gotten two goals and four assists in his first eight appearances, that's a really, really good return for a kid who's 21. Yeah. He's... He can't even rent a car in the United States. Half of the rental car places need you to be like 25. He's not even 25. You're not even 22. He's so, so young, and he's such a good, uh, such an important prospect in the future. Moving on to our other winger, Hyunmin Son. Man in the match, 9. 
Uh, and I'm going to give him a 9.25. He was just all around brilliant today. The two goals, the first one, that was an absolute brilliant finish. Mm -hmm. Might have taken a little flick of, uh, about, um, off Zuma. of Zuma, yeah. but nonetheless, it was a great finish. Unbelievable pass from... And the second goal, that composure, he's been lacking confidence recently. But after, I think after today, he's gotten his confidence back, Finally. especially in one-on-ones. Yeah, it's taken him a That's while. That's his specialty. Yeah. It's taken him a while, but um, he's finally found his form. Yep. And that's very, very important because we need our attackers to be firing as we go into these last 10 or get so games. Actually, we've only got nine games left in the Premier League season. Uh, this was our 28th or 29th? 29th. Should be 29th. This was our 29th game. So we only nine got games. nine games left until the end of the season. Nine games to make a push for that top four spot and to get into top four. Or we have to hope that an English side wins the Champions League. Yeah. Because if one of Chelsea, Liverpool, and Man City win the Champions League, that adds another UCL spot into fifth place. And that could be vital for our teams. Because, But we just need to catch up with Arsenal and get that solidified fourth place. Because... I really want Champions League back at the lane. It's going to be so, yep. so important. Uh, and lastly on the team sheet was Harry Kane. Harry Kane, I'm going to rate him an 8.5. I'm going to give him an 8.5 as well. Two assists from the man today. Very good performance. Very good performance. Passing, again, was pretty on point. Uh, recently, it hasn't been on point, but today, he's got it back. Got his passing back. Yeah. And he's dribbling. Great. Great. Last season, his yeah. passing improved. This season, it's his dribbling. Yeah. And his shooting has always been great. Physicality has always been great. Yeah. But finally, his passing is coming back. And it's so, so important to see that. And it's so nice. Um, and the funniest thing is, Harry Kane gave the rest of the league, like, a two-month head start. He didn't get his first goal until, like, what, October or November? October. October, right? And um, he still got 12 goals and five assists. And he's in tied what? Tied fourth place for the Golden Boot. I know he's a long way behind Salah, but that's still pretty impressive for a guy who yeah. comp like literally left the UK and just went on holiday for the first two months and then decided to come back and start playing. It's His story in the summer was so funny. Going to Florida, wasn't yeah. it, right? <laughs> but that's it for our player ratings. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy our content. Comment down below who your man of the match is. And until next time. Come on, you Spurs!